loose connective tissue, orsine and toludine blue staining. The specimen shows loose connective tissue proper in orsine stained mesentery. This tissue fills the spaces between elements that make up organs and tissue, as well as introduces blood vessels, lymph vessels and nerves into organs. It is characteristic of the subcutaneous tissue, the lamina propria of the mucosa and submucosa, as well as mesenteric serous membrane, which can be seen in the specimen. All types of fibres are present in loose connective tissue, bundles of collagen fibres, network of elastic fibres, single reticular fibres, and all types of connective tissue cells, such as fibroblasts, macrophages, plasma cells, mast cells, and cells migrating from the blood. In orsine staining, brown-coloured elastic fibres forming a network are visible. Non-specifically stained, thick intersecting yet unbranched bundles of collagen fibres run in their vicinity. The presented staining method does not allow to demonstrate the above-mentioned third type of fibres, i.e. reticular fibres. Let's take a closer look at the nuclei of connective tissue cells visible in the specimen. Although staining with orsine does not allow to clearly distinguish the individual populations of connective tissue cells, it is very likely that the most elongated nuclei belong to the population of fibroblasts. Toludine blue stained mast cells are cells whose identification raises no doubts. They are involved in the mechanisms underlying non-specific responses, responsible for the rapid development of inflammation at the site of infection, as well as specific defense against pathogens. Excess monoclonal proliferation of mast cells from progenitor cells is called mastocytosis. Although it is mild in most cases, manifested mainly by skin lesions, systemic variants with a very poor prognosis are known. From the scientific point of view, the possibility of selective inhibition of the harmful effects of these cells on the body is of great interest. This can occur in two ways, by reducing the number of mast cells and blocking the inflammatory mediators they produce.